Hey y'all, Molly Gray here, your video and podcast editor here at the forum. Uh, a lot of you don't know this, but when I'm not doing forum stuff with my forum cohorts, I like to get in touch with my creative side a little bit, which is why I made this pottery video for you all. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Start with an assortment of tools and my objective. In this case, I want to recreate this glass vase that I found in my mom's house. So I start by rolling. And I roll, and I roll, and I roll a little more. Look at that. And then I realize that I've accidentally rolled the clay right onto the counter, and it's not going to come off. So I just have to scrape it off and start from scratch. But that's okay, life's not fair. Cool. Anyway, um, parchment paper. That'll solve my problem. It might not solve all problems, but this one in particular. So I roll out my big slab. I want to use a slab because this thing has straight edges. I flip it over. I kind of confuse the clay with uh, my metal rib, get it nice and wet, and then I measure out my slab that I want to use as the body. So now I've got this nice clay body here, and uh, I want to cut a base that I can attach it to so it can look just like this base. So I literally just use the bottom and use my little paring knife. And then I've got a nice little uh, base that I can kind of put together. So let me rip away these little pieces. And you never really want to throw anything away because you can totally repurpose it for later. So yeah, we're just going to connect those two pieces of the base together. Then we're going to connect the different sides of the slab, and we do this by scoring and slipping. There are kind of two schools of thought. Do you slip then score or score then slip? I like to slip then score because then your, uh, you know, your little lines are still nice and exposed and they don't get smothered by the slip that you're putting on top of them. Anyway, I just kind of uh, mash the clay together inside there. So now I've got this nice kind of tube formation that's starting to resemble the vase that I want to make. And I just need to attach it to the base. You might notice that there's kind of a little hole going on at the bottom there, and it's perfectly okay. Sometimes mistakes happen. We're just going to attach it at the base there. And... Now we're kind of starting to get more like a form. We got the base off there. There you go. Now to patch that hole, I'm just going to use one of those pieces of the slab that I cut off from the base, and I'm just going to lay it right over the top of that hole like a band-aid. And I've got my hand inside of the vessel at this point so that nothing caves in as I'm using my uh, you know, jagged rib to confuse the clay. Confusing the clay is just where you uh, kind of mash it all together. You know, clay has memory and you don't want it to fall apart at those seams. You gotta get it nice and mashed together. Now we got this, uh, you know, this big kind of vessel. I would call this a vessel. Now, you know, because we're making a pitcher, it's like I want it to be nice and even on all the sides and so I can kind of just like beat it into shape. I'm gonna smooth away those cracks that have kind of formed on the outside. You know it can happen sometimes when you're bending a big slab or when you're bending just like any kind of piece of clay. So you just got to be mindful, make sure you're not being too aggressive with it. I feel like Patrick Swayze or Demi Moore from Ghost right now. Great movie. Yeah, so now uh, because it's a pitcher, I was getting ahead of myself, uh, we want to have like a little spout, um, just like the original one had. So I'm just kind of using my hands to form this little spout. And, uh, you know, I mean, this doesn't need to be totally functional because I'm frankly not going to use this thing. This is just for fun. Um, yeah, now I need to attach that uh, handle because, you know, we got to little pitcher situation going on. I uh, made the handle out of a nice coil that I kind of had tapered on one end and a little thicker at the other. So now I'm just gonna put it at both attachment points. 
And again, just like smoosh that clay down so it bonds with the base that I'm sticking it to. All right, now I kind of want to get this uh, little pattern. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to achieve that, but you know what? We're going to try. I've got this nice solid vessel in my hand. It really feels good to hold, I must say, for those of you at home. Just kidding, all of you are at home. Okay, hopefully. Um, anyway, I've got my tool, and I'm just going to start kind of etching this nice crystal floral pattern into it. And, uh, yeah, once I'm done, I'm going to admire my work because I just love it so much. And, uh, here's the final product. It's, <laughs> yeah, the pattern's not quite as good. But, hey, it resembles that vase, and I'm proud of it. Thank you for watching.